All right, so I've got the Hapag HD um, 1445, and one of the Young and Reckless t-shirts we gave away in our last vlog. Gonna send those out today. Only one person has answered so far. And most of our giveaways work out, so you only have seven days to answer um, our email. So if somebody who won's account got disconnected, or you know it was just somebody who signed in once and made, a, made up an account and commented and never checked back again, and they got a message saying they win, and they, you know they're never gonna check it. So we give people seven days to respond to our message saying you won, so you kinda have to be active about it. I'm at the post office, well almost. I'm about to turn into the post office as soon as this light turns green. Gonna send out the Young and Reckless shirt and the Hapog HD, woo, PVR uh, to the winner. I forget what his channel name is, but I launched it, or I announced the winner in the, uh, the Wheels of Destruction live show. Um, and if you didn't get emailed and if you didn't answer me and give me your address, you weren't the winner because I have the winner's address and I'm sending it out right now. Welcome to the post office. Look how poopy it is outside. It's raining and there's lightning and there's thunder. It's a full on thunderstorm. I'm carrying an umbrella around. I feel like Mary frickin' Poppins. <laughs> well, since it's crappy and raining outside, we decided to make the day uncrappy and go go kart racing. Doesn't that sound fun? It should be awesome. I'm excited. I'm gonna win. I'm gonna win. I'm gonna beat John and Ryan. Ryan putting all his information in right and true so that he can kick some ass racing. They got little kids riding go-karts, so it can't be too difficult. But I'm gonna feel bad if I crash and there's like 10-year-old kids doing way better than I am. But no joke, I crash like everything that isn't a car. Cause when I'm driving, I wanna like move the wheel with me when I look behind me to my right or to my left. And I've rolled so many four-wheelers doing this. Um, it's like ridiculous. I'll just be like, hey, what's behind me? And now there's a four-wheeler on top of me. I'm actually really surprised I've never broken a bone. So I'm totally gonna beat John Lincoln. Ah, you tried to sneak past, didn't work. Didn't work. I'm that good. I need a small. Is that medium? I, I might need a small. 
Yeah, people always say the big head, but I think my head's actually pretty small. That's better. Ready to go! Getting ready to play a little Black Ops. They wear ski huh? masks? No. Sometimes. What size helmet do you wear? Large. Ha <laughs> ha. You have a big head. I do have a big head. They got the go karts lined up, ready to go. I didn't die. I'm pretty happy about that. But I guess they turn the go-karts on and off or something. Cause like when we start the go-karts are going all slow and I'm like, oh, this isn't bad. I can totally handle this. And all of a sudden <laughs> it turns on. I'm like, oh, they go way faster. I don't know. I think I got like last place. Cause the turns like freaked me out and I went really slow around the turns. Cause I don't know, I'm scared I'm gonna tip over or something. <laughs> and then some prick hit me and I went like, smashing into the wall and I totally almost crapped my pants. <laughs> I was bumping and rubbing people. It was really funny. I was like smashed like three people around in one corner. It was awesome. <laughs> I did get last place. <laughs> Speedy Gonzalez. Dead my last. nickname on here, Speedy Gonzalez. Yep, dead last. There you go, you Speedy go Gonzalez. <laughs> did you get first, Ryan? No. Oh, I thought you said you got first. Fifth? Fifth? Seven. You got He's seven? Four, though. Seen all that, so. How are you guys like, how are you not afraid you're gonna tip over? Because that's what I'm afraid of. Gravity is right on the ground. I'm scared of going too fast that the go-kart's gonna tip over and I'm gonna like cut my pretty little face. The center of gravity is like this far off the ground, so all the weight is like that far off the ground. It's not gonna play. I almost tipped over when that guy hit me. Almost. I smashed into the that wall. That's Josh Hansen, Frog Healthcare, Kyle Bush, he's a NASCAR racer, Kenny Bartman, Travis Petrano. Rock Lesnar? I didn't say that. Bubba Stewart? Helper. I said Rock Helper. I thought you said Rock Lesnar. Josh, James Stewart, Chad Reed, Steve Harth, they all come here to like race because it's, this is like the motocross racing area of Southern California. That's cool. Uh, maybe. Oh, okay. Forgot it. That's Travis Pastrana. Yeah, I don't think that is him. He looks like him. No. 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 Yeah, push me off the podium. <laughs> I'm going to push you and have you crack your head open on the ground. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I am number one. Oh. I just, maybe that looks... I thought maybe that looked like it might have been higher up than it actually was and it might look like I was doing something cool. Race car. So this is the inside of a race car right here. So you can see. This is what the inside of a race car looks like. Oh, look at this. This is really cool. See these? Shake and bike. When the car turns around backwards, these pop up and it like helps slow it down. So that was really cool going go-kart racing. I'm kind of like, hmm that I came in last though, you know? But I think the reason I was going a little slow and being kind of careful is because I didn't want to die. Because it's Friday the 13th, and just before we went go-kart racing, we went and got some tacos at Chronic Tacos. And as we were leaving, I stand up, and I'm walking out of my booth, and my purse knocks that little plastic thing with all the condiments and salt and pepper and stuff in it, and the salt goes pshh glass shatter salt all over the floor. Everyone in the restaurant is looking at me. I'm like, hi, sorry. But I spilled salt. And isn't spilling salt bad luck? So I spilled salt on top of it being Friday the 13th. So I was a little nervous when I went go-kart racing. But at least I'm okay. I made it, I survived. <laughs> but before I left the restaurant, I totally like, picked some of the salt off of the ground, avoiding the glass shards, and threw it over my shoulder to kind of 
cancel out the bad juju. Well, I just wanted to say thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed watching us go go-kart racing. We had a lot of fun doing it. And take care and stay tuned for more vlogs. Mwah!